Hey, I'm back again. I'm going to take you through the ASUS PN50 bare bones little computer. These tiny little machines. Um, it's the PN50 or PN51. PN51 being the new 5000 series AMD processor version. Uh, these come typically as a bare bones system, so they have no hard drive and no RAM. So I'm going to take you through installing the RAM and then installing a hard drive and then downloading from Microsoft the latest copy of Windows 10 and then we'll set it up afresh and so you've got a nice running machine. So um, let's get on with it. So let's get this unboxed. It comes really neatly packaged. It's very compact. They've, uh, they've got everything you need in it to start with, excluding the hard drive and RAM, of course. So there's a power supply and all the little screws for mounting it even onto the back of a visa plate on a monitor, so uh, which is quite handy. But I'm just taking out the small screw that's necessary to, um, to lock down the M2 uh, SATA hard drive, which I'm going to install shortly. Specs are brilliant on this, Wi-Fi 6, up to 64 gigs of RAM, as in two 32 gig slots, support for up to four 4K monitors, it's got a display port, HDMI, two USB-C ports, three USB standard size ports, but USB 3. Um, as you can see, very simple to get into, four little screws on the underside just to slide across the plate and then to reveal the locations for the RAM and the SATA um, M2 hard drive, which we'll put in a minute. Make sure you use the locating pin to, uh, to secure them in nicely. You can't get them in the wrong way, in fact. <laughs> um, the RAM, like with most AMD systems, you want to put, it's dual channel, so you want to put two sticks in there. This is just two sticks of, of four gigs, so a total of eight gigs, but as I say, you can go up to two sticks of 32 to give 64. Right, now I'm going to get my little M2 SATA drive out. As I say, it, uh, well, this one actually did come with a screw for fastening it down. A lot of them don't, but um, the, the ASUS box does come with one anyway. So let's zoom in a little. And as you see, just tucked around the side there, there's a little slot to put it in. And now you need to just carefully move that little ribbon out of the way, push the, uh, the, push the drive down, and then carefully secure it with a little screw. Say so it's unusual to get one actually with with a device it tend to, to not come with them but uh, this machine did. I've previously had to order them on Amazon in a hurry <laughs> but now I'll keep a little stack of them. So we'll just secure that in carefully. As you can see that just that one little screw down the back there. So very, very neat. As I say, you can put in there as well a standard two and a half inch drive. It can be a sort of 72 RPM, um, ordinary hard drive, you know, traditional spinning hard drive um, that you might get in an old laptop or um, uh, an SSD drive, which is obviously much better. So you just attach it on the screws there. And then when you slide that base plate back into the unit, it then plugs the drive in. It's really neat, nice and compact. Then we'll secure it again with our four little screws in the bottom, just to make sure it's uh, really tightly put together. But the whole thing is very, very snug. So there we go. So now we come to the bit where we download the latest copy of Windows 10. So go to Google and search for Windows Media Creation Tool. If you click on the one that's on the Microsoft site, scroll down a little bit, and then you'll see Download Tool Now. Clicking on that will download the media creation tool. This is the thing that's going to create the Windows 10 bootable USB memory stick for us. Launch it, it'll go through a little getting things ready, accept the normal license and let it uh, start its business. So this takes a few minutes and then we'll choose create installation media. So you need a USB drive, eight gigs is what I tend to use. Unselect the use recommended options for this PC and then you can choose your language. So I'm going to choose uh, United Kingdom for here. And you can, uh, the edition is only Windows 10 there anyway, on the, but I choose the 64 and 32 bit, so the both options. So if you've got some older hardware that only supports 32 bit version of Windows 10, you can still create it. Select USB flash drive, so you need a good 8 gigabyte stick. And then I've already got one inserted in my machine. Select that 
and then choose next and it will start its download. Now this can take some time so we'll whiz forward on it. Once it's completed it will tell you the drive is complete and ready and you can now just click on finish. And now for the final section which is to install Windows 10 onto the PM50 or PM51. It's really straightforward. Uh, get your machine set up and before powering it on with a little button on the front right hand side pop the USB stick into the front of the machine connect your monitor, keyboard and mouse and power up and then just follow the normal prompts for a clean installation of Windows 10. It's very straightforward. If you would like me to take you through that step by step then just please comment down below and I'll happily do so. Thank you very much for watching and hope it was useful. If you like it, please thumbs up because that will always help the channel and subscribe if you haven't, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much indeed. See you soon.